So this was an interesting video that somebody had tagged me on to comment. And when I looked at the comments from the originator, it looked like the units that they were using were milli centisieverts. And why that would be chosen is largely because of the conventional units that we use here in the United States, which are usually rem or milli rem. And the issue with the U.S. units and the international units are that a rem is approximately a centisievert. And so a milli centisievert would be equivalent to a milli rem. So I'm assuming that's what those units are. And to put it in perspective or in context, that's what was originally being asked was, is that really bad or really uh, innocuous or where does that fall? So to help, the background radiation dose that we all get on average in the United States, just from the ground primarily, radiation coming from the earth due to uranium and thorium and potassium in the ground, is around 100 millirem per year. Uh, and so we actually get much more than that from natural sources due to radon and cosmic and so forth. But in terms of gamma, that's approximately where it would be on average. Uh, if you live on the Colorado Plateau, it's going to be higher. If you live near the beach, it's going to be lower. But there are just different sources and that they all contribute. And so that actually is, well, if I interpreted that value correctly, that was a much higher dose rate than you get from background for sure. So I hope that helps. Um, it was kind of an interesting video in the sense that that eerie music playing as this person went and, uh, and did a dose rate off of this radioactive object, uh, contaminated object. So thanks for tagging me. I hope that helps. I hope you enjoy the video. Thanks. Bye.